Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with a collaboration with my friend Michelle on Age Grateful channel. She did a sandwich called a patty melt. So she challenged me to do one as well. I want to do it live, but I can't do it live because I don't have that live technology right now on doing live and the equipment and the space and the room, whatever I need to do that live. So what I'm doing, the collaboration, just with a regular video, she said that was fine. So what I'm going to have on my uh, uh, melted uh, patty melt, I'm going to use Texas toast. And I like to let my toast get kind of uh, stale a little bit. Not stale, but just out the package and let it get a little crust on it. So I'm using Texas toast. I'm using three pieces. I'm using fresh ground beef chuck. There you go. Chuck. Uh, this is uh, all natural at the Walmart. And it was $3.97, I think, for this uh, one pound. Then I'm going to use a tomato, a big tomato like that. I call those uh, steak tomatoes. Slice that. I'm going to use a big onion. Slice that. And then I'm going to use mayonnaise. And I'm going to use oil. And I'm going to use three different kinds of cheese, Michelle. I went to the deli at Walmart and I got some uh, pepper jack cheese. And it was not 87 cents, for, I think, for three pieces. And then I got some, um, I got some provolone cheese, it's 97 cents for three pieces. And then I got some um, mild cheddar for 61 cents for three pieces. So we're going to get started with this collaboration on how to make a patty milk. Be right back. All right, what we're doing now is grilling an onion circle. And we're going to add a little parsley plate on top. Just like that. We'll put the plate on there. And we're going to add a little salt. Just a little salt on there. And then we're going to add some black pepper. Just like that, a little black pepper. And we're going to let that finish cooking. And we'll be right back. Now, we are grilling our sliced tomato. So what I'm going to do is add some parsley plate on that, just like this. Parsley plate goes on top of that as well. Just a little. Now you can put any seasoning you want on there. If you want to put peppercino, that's that crushed brown, black, I mean that crushed red pepper. You can put that on there. So I'm putting some black pepper as well. Black pepper. Just like that. And then I'm putting some salt. Just like that. And we're going to let this finish grilling. And we'll be right back with the other step. All right, we're ready to season our meat. So we got ground meat. We're going to put salt. We have black pepper. I like a lot of black pepper, y'all. And we're going to add a little parsley flakes. Just a little. And then I'm going to give you a little tip. I always put uh, about a teaspoon, a tablespoon of water in this right here. Just like that. Okay, we're going to push this together. Pan is already hot, so we're going to put this together like this. And we're going to put it in this. Just like that, make sure it's all blended together. And we're gonna make some patties. Just like that. And roll them like a ball. Like a ball, like that. And you're gonna squeeze them down to make them round. I'm gonna make them kind of flat. There you go. I'm going to do another one, just 
like this. Put them together like that. And we're going to save this patty for another one. <laughs> we'll be right back when this gets to frying. Make sure they around and flatten down just like that. Be right back. Okay, we got our patties almost done. Now you can have yours medium well. You can have yours extra well done. I can have yours medium rare. So I like mine sort of medium in between rare and not too good. So you can do what you want on your patties. So these are about ready to take out and we're going to show you the next step and what to do. Okay, what we're doing now is browning once the middle part of the bread. We let that grill on that side. What I did is for a little oil, because the oil have a tendency to make it brown more prettier. That's what I think. See, it's getting look at that. See that what I'm talking about? So we got uh, when I squeeze the bread down, we keep the bread like that. So we let it brown on both sides, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we come back. All right. See how beautiful that is. So what we're gonna do? is add some mayonnaise. It's like this, how much you want. But don't squeeze your bread down. Just add the mayonnaise. It's something about grilled cheese and mayonnaise is really, really good. So I like to put mayonnaise on mine, like that. Okay, what we're gonna do now is get the cheese. Now I pre-melt some of the cheese. Three slices of the cheese I pre-melted. Like that. I pre-melted. And I put it on there like that. And it kind of ooze on the side like that, yeah. Okay. And then you add your meat. Add your meat like that. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna show you what's the next step. And this is the middle, y'all. And then we're gonna add the grilled tomato and the grilled onion, just like that. Okay, and we'll be right back with the other, oh, I'm going to leave in the mirror, y'all, in the camera. Okay, we're going to add the, another piece of bread, we're going to add the cheese, pre-melted, and the onion, and the tomato, and the patty. And we'll be right back with the other question. All right, we got our second piece of Texas toast browning on one side with the oil and we're going to make sure that the other side is brown also. I'm going to flip it over like that and let it get brown and we're going to add some mayonnaise on this side. Just a little, not a lot y'all, just a little mayonnaise, just a little, just a little, not a lot, just a little. Okay, just like that. Then we're going to add some cheese. We'll have to pre-melt this. Just a little pre-melt cheese. And then the microwave. We're going to add it the cheese like this. Just like that, y'all. Just like that. And then we're going to add the patty again just like that and then we're going to add one on top just like that that's the middle one and then we'll be right back and let you see what that looks like all right we've got this one side already brown and we're going to see it's already brown so we're going to put it on top of this right here on top this way we're going to put it that direction and we're going to mash it down just a little bit and then we're going to brown the other side so the cheese can uh, melt also. So I'm putting a little oil in the pan just like that. Just a little oil, y'all. Not too much. And I forgot to put mayonnaise on this one, y'all. Put some on this side. 
A little mayonnaise. I like mayonnaise on mayonnaise, y'all. Just mayonnaise and cheese just tastes good, okay? And then we're going to put this on top, just like this. Get this out the way. We're going to put this on top, and then it finish melting and cooking on that side. And we're going to mash it down as it cook and brown. And we'll be right back with that famous looking, what you call a patty melt. Bring that back. All right, it's brown on the other side. See that? Ooh, that is so delicious, y'all. Look at that. And we're gonna push this over a little bit because it is oozing and gooing. Take this out the way and we'll be right back. Now this is what the patty melt look like. Look at the cheese and the, and the onion. Look at the cheese, I'm sorry, I'm running the camera. The cheese and the onion and the toast. And we'll be right back to show you how it looks when it cuts. All right, this is the finished product of the, you know, I have to think what this is. <laughs> Y'all forgive me, it's a patty milk. <laughs> this is what this is. In collaboration with my good friend Michelle on Grace for All channel, H Grateful channel, and I'm going to put a link at the bottom so y'all can go and go over there and subscribe and support my friend from Michelle because she is a wonderful, wonderful person and you will love her. Now, I got mine right there, y'all, just a little rare. I like that. And look at that cheese. Ooh. <laughs> I'm telling you, that is so good. And look at that. Ooh, I'm telling you, that is a great sandwich. And you saw me how to do it. Now I asked y'all, did y'all want yours medium or well or, you know, <laughs> and I wanted mine a little rare, not completely always cooked dry. And this is what this is. It's delicious, y'all. And look at the cheese. Now you can't eat this if you're on a diet. Now this is enough for two people to eat. Now I'll probably just eat one or two bites and that's it because I can't eat all this. But I enjoyed doing it, and I hope y'all follow me. I hope I did it right so y'all can follow me to do this patty milk in collaboration with my friend Michelle. And go over there and look at hers. I'm going to put her uh, link down there. You can go look at her uh, patty milk as well. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating, and thank you for coming to my channel. Now, in this patty milk, you can get this recipe from soulfoodqueen.net. Or you could just look at the YouTube and do it and make sure that it's uh, the way you want it. Any season, any spice, whatever you like, you can do that. This is what this is. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating. And look, ooh, if it's not a patty milk, I don't know what this is. This is so good to me, y'all. And the onions and the tomato, ooh, you can put anything you want on your patty milk. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating and thank you for coming to my channel.